<sighs> What's that? Married in America, you say? We got that covered. Welcome to Cactical Maine. That's right, once again, welcome back to Cactical Maine. Got something a little different for you guys today. Something, yes, correct. Something a little bit different than what we normally do here on the channel. Yeah, subscribers, yes, the beard has shortened up quite a bit. But that's not why we're here. But before we get to why we're here, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Mm -hmm. Hit the like button, ring that bell. Made America goodness. Do, 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 do. boots has finally arrived we have the next handmade boots urban loggers Captain made that don't look like no urban logger you ever had done that seen was you're correct I got the urban logger in eight inch boot I gotta back way up just so you can see the thing look at that nice eight inch tall urban logger boot I hear it already Tactical Maine. Couldn't you just gotten a Builder Pro? No, because Builder Pro wouldn't give me this awesome brown wax flesh. But before we go any further into talking about the boot, let me just say Nick's Boots has no idea who the heck Tactical Maine is. This boot was purchased by myself. Nick's has no idea who I am. Let's back up to January 25th, 2021. I placed my order. I did the fit MTO fit sheet thing to guarantee fit and all this and that got my fit sheet the same day filled it out had the wife help me out with it got it sent back in size determined waiting to send boots now when i ordered uh it stated uh, please allow up to six weeks for a try on pair to be delivered we're gonna take us a sip of coffee that took nine weeks to get the first try on boot um just gonna say it's probably has to do with the stimulus checks and everybody buying boots and ordering it no fault there i mean three weeks off but for try on boot but you know what it is what it is try on boot comes they sent me a roberts i think i got some pictures man i thought that was the ugliest damn boot on the planet earth it's just not my style it's not my color not any of the above however that some gun as soon as i slide it on felt like a slipper and i was sold Sizing was a little different than what I've ever worn in my entire life. They had me at 11 and a half C. I've never worn an 11 and a half, and nor have I ever gone down to a C, but that boot fit just fine. I send that back, a few weeks goes by. Then I finally get an email that's going into construction. And five days after going into construction, they said it was shipped. Woohoo! 
on the way, on the way, on the way, on the way. I paid for two-day shipping from USPS. Well, guess what? Your great postal service failed, failed miserably. Took eight days to deliver. Nix was great enough to go ahead and refund the two-day shipping cost. Good customer service, great customer service. So now let's talk about the boot that you got. Ooh, it's staying focused on me. I don't know why it's focused on me. It needs to be focused on the boot. Ooh, look at that thing there. So what we have is the Urban Logger. Uh, 55 last, which gives you that nice heel. Oh, look at that heel. That's a beautiful heel. With a awesome Vibram outsole. It's not the thick one like on the Builder Pro, so you get stitched through all the way. Once you walk a few bits, dudes, the stitches aren't going to hold nothing. So you don't need the stitched sole all the way through but it does look cool i opted for the eight inch shaft which which made it even more of an mto and that probably added to the length of time to get built i didn't want to go with the six inch boot because i have plenty of six inch boots didn't want to go with build a pro and an eight inch because i wanted the brown the brown wax flesh this stuff is beautiful mm -mm -mm. other than that there's not much to say about the boot it's beautiful i have 10 hours 10 hours in these things let's talk about how this fits i don't know how it fits dudes it's so daggone stiff i can't tell the Triumph boot that was sent to me had already been worn it had wrinkle spots in it and whatnot it had been worn probably quite a bit and and it was broken in and it felt like a glove this literally feels like a two by four strapped to my feet there is no flex there's no flex Ooh. obviously i was at the wrong angles for that but there is I, getting that to go up is difficult she's gonna take her break in nicks ain't lying when they send and they tell you first day where 20 minutes i thought i was badass i headed out for 35 minutes first day mm -mm. it let me know it let me know let me grab the other one they let me know no sir take them off you dumb dumb 35 minutes first day second day i got two and a half hours they say 45 minutes second day i got two and a half hours in these here let's go ahead and hold this one up third day i got seven hours today's the fourth day i haven't worn them any today it's saturday i don't feel like wearing them i'm gonna talk about how they fit in my foot though from here from here right here Eh, from right here back feels like a glove I mean fits like a glove obviously it's stiff as hell up here in the front from the balls of my feet forward I ain't never had that much room before in my life I actually called them when I first tried it on and said uh, is this right because that's not how the other ones felt that's not how the try on pair felt uh, they're, they're wide open like say say this is the balls of my feet right here and these are my toesies I can do that and it's not, it, well, okay. I feel like I can do that. It's probably more like that. And uh, not touching anything. Let me just say, they were very nice. They said, well, wear them, break them in. You know, go start breaking them in a little bit, wear them. The material up here will move around and go around and it will fit. The more I wear them, the better it feels in the toe box. Still feels like I'm wearing a 2x4. This is some premium, premium leather. Let me just look at that leather, dudes. Just in the sole itself, in the midsole and in the heel. That's going to take some time to break in. Overall, satisfaction. How satisfied are you? I'm pretty daggone satisfied. And once again, Nick knows has no idea who I am. I got these with my own money, so Nick's isn't paying me to say good things about them. But hey, Nix, if you want to go ahead and send another pair, yeah, I'm looking at them Falcons. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't think you would watch this video anyways, buddy. If you are interested in tracking the progress of this boot and seeing what this beautiful brown wax leather, brown wax flesh, brown wax flesh leather breaks in likes and patinas likes, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I don't know if I'm going to be in here for weekly updates, maybe bi-weekly, 
but definitely monthly break-in updates and progress updates on this boot and its sizing. I thank you for stopping by Tactical Main. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Uh, yeah. If you want to support the channel, click on one of the links in the description down below. It helps me out. It helps me get more pam pam pew for you and me. Uh, also helps with some of this stuff right here. Hey, if you're interested in boot reviews, I got tons of boots, guys. You want me to keep bringing them? I got one boot video on this channel, and it did very well. I think I'm going to start bringing us more boot reviews until the ammo prices come back in check. That's it. I'm out here dudes and dudettes. Deuces.